Oh, it's right there. I see it. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to this society is in the park at the foot of the praying woman. There's praying woman again. You didn't miss anything. You missed us walking around. No longer foggy Silent Hill, but dark and spoopy Silent Hill. So, uh, and the and the death of our girlfriend, Pyramid Head Killer. At the foot of the praying woman, inside of the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. Okay. So he knew his patient stole the key, but he did nothing. It made him uneasy to have such a thing near. What is this a key to? I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares to approach the place. You still not... Wait, what? If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I knew something was right there. I could hear it. That was a really lucky shot, though. I had no idea where exactly it was. Alright. The noise is the radio. It tells me that they're near. Okay. So we have the wrench and the praying woman. The praying woman's at the park. So we'll come up this street. Uh -oh. No, we can't. We'll come. Uh -oh. We'll have to go back when we came. Unless you want to go through the apartments again. Hell to the F and no. As for what that noise is in Silent Hill, you typically always get a broken radio, and the radio makes that weird static noise whenever you're near one of the monsters. So you can use that as like an early warning system to know there's a monster nearby. The only problem with that being the monsters are attracted to light and sound, so having that noise goes off actually draws them towards you. Definitely going the right way. There's dead ones. They're like breadcrumbs. You left a trail of dead bodies. <laughs> That's your breadcrumbs. 
It's like, am I going the right way? I don't know. Is there dead Silent Hill citizens? Yes, then you're going the right way. You can actually control if the radio is on and off and then what the volume level of it is too. These hanger guys are more of an issue on the harder difficulty. They'll like grab your feet. Gotcha. we would go oh shizzle yeah yeah we'll have to come up go down rendell street up carroll street go around the the bowling alley and back out yep you can pick up the metal pipe when you're at the gas station if you wanted to sure why not since it seems to be bothering you it's the fifth time you brought it up oh no no you don't you really don't need it now you got pistol and shotgun and we have a rifle soon. I check the map a lot for reasons like that. Every time I think I've gone the wrong direction, I check my map. Because I would rather check my map than get like all the way up a street I didn't need to go down. I went the wrong direction. I had a feeling. Died because I had just checked my map. I left right here. I got. I mean, there. Yeah, past the white line. I got discombobulated because I shot that monster. I missed! James, my man, you're getting bad. And were you ever good to begin with? Okay. Stick closer. confident and then pass okay. then we're gonna go past the hospital You have to go back the other way. 
Maybe there's a way around the apartments that's open now that you've been through. Oh my gosh. What? I wanted to go that way and you told me I couldn't. So I, you were talking about going up the road. The road's definitely blocked. But the other road maybe by the apartments might be open now. So which way do I need to go? You see Cat Street? Yeah. Go through Saul Street and then come back on Cat Street, maybe. Okay. I'm guessing. Don't worry. How are you doing tonight? Bless you. Alrighty then. Walking around in the dark is great. too far. Oh, Lord of mercy. I really don't like those things. They creep me out. Yeah. Unnerving because like the first time I came through there, there was like one point where I, like I couldn't not walk over them because they were like right there. Go back past Happy Burger. I don't feel like this town should have any restaurant with the name Happy in it. Just saying. Disservice. It's false advertisement. For that in instance, a restaurant named Lucky. 
anything. Lucky Jade. Yeah, no. There's no luck or happiness in this town. Have you seen it? Saying I could walk past it over here? I think so. Okay, let's try. I think there was a gate in the way before, but it might be unlocked. You know? but there was a reason you had to go through the apartment. Right. But this door right here, I think, might be unlocked. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. All right, cool beans. I know where we're going now. It makes you feel better. This is your last out in the street segment. Run to the town. Gotcha. I don't know. At this point, it doesn't bother me. The only part that bothers me about it is not being able to see where the heck I'm going. Yeah. Like, it's not really about the monster so much anymore. I'm kind of over that. Like, it's just about the the navigation of it. One of the things I was looking forward to in the Nightmare Hospital apparently isn't in the Nightmare Hospital, and now I just I don't remember where it is. <laughs> so I'm just waiting until you get there, I guess. There's a statue of a praying woman. But where? Oh, I know. Guessing it's worth a circle. I get. I was looking though. I was trying to keep my eye, my peepers open. Okay, I think we gotta walk down and around. Is there a turn there? there? I don't think so. Okay, maybe there was. Victim of persecution by the... Okay. What am I supposed to do with that? Hey, Claire. You got hurt. I guess at some point, I don't know. Not anymore. Who got hurt? Not me. I have no idea. You hurt your back? Oh man, that's that's horrible. Oh no! I hate it when my back hurt. hurt. Like the worst thing. Like... And Gilda knows all about having a hurt back. Gotta use the wrench. I hope you feel better soon, Claire. We get a key, old bronze key. Okay. Hmm.
Now there's one more place. Oh, the historical society, right? It was underlined. Yeah. Well, let's go there next. Before I do, can I take a bathroom break? I need you to please move so I may take a bathroom break. I'll be right back, guys. I didn't hit the right back there. Well, no, because you usually sit down and talk to them. Quick! Oh, she's gone. Chaos! That was good. Bye, bye, guys. Claire, don't you go giving him any bad ideas. So after uh, talking to Claire last time, I put some serious consideration into it. And I do think that Barbie Horse Adventure should totally be on my list of games to play. Really? <laughs> I support this decision. Did you know that there are four of them? No, I didn't. Yeah, we looked it up last night. As long as you did, not we also talked about other Barbie games. I, I said that I used to play this game. Uh, it was Barbie's Carnival Caper. Claire looked it up for me, and that's a hundred bucks on eBay now. Right? There you go. Did you even notice? What? Hold on. Oh, you got the pipe? For you. Yeah. Find out of the I know, but this is where we were. This is the direction we were heading with Maria before we detoured in the bowling alley. We would have so much fun. We should just totally play the whole stream of nothing but Barbie games. Oh. 
Not on Gilded Stream, of course. I don't think he would let me do that. you are. Barbie games. You'd be like, uh, how about now? On Better Have Fun? Yeah. No. See? Declare, he's not for the Barbie. What do Barbie you do on your stream? I have a great idea. We could do reverse better half blind. Want me to play the Barbie game? What do you think, Claire? No. We'll have Gilded play the Barbie games blind on better half blind. I think it's a great idea. Claire says yes. He would never do it, ever, I promise you. Oh, it's a safe. I was like, what's this red book? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one flat down before. They're usually like on a wall or something. Maybe I saw one flat blind. That, the, the, the. Instead of a monkey, it's a Barbie. It's Barbie, right? There's a door back there. Yes. All right, that door's locked. Door numero one, check. That's a very interesting photo, guys. Look at that. It's a photo of an empty room. All righty then. Photo of a deep, deep hole. What could this be? Photo of a director. What the heck is that noise? Like, these noises, I swear to goodness, are just meant to creep the F out of you. Okay, it looks like a, a important person, a famous person in town. Photo is hanging here. Brookhaven Hospital, 18. Oh. The hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration to this area. It was originally little more than a shack, but it gradually grew and grew. There's nothing particularly special about this photograph. Nothing useful written on them. Okay, well, I guess I don't get to be the judge of that. <laughs> a perfectly normal thing to have. Let's explore the rest of the rooms before we go down that hall. Maybe there are no- oh, hello? Okay. Misty day. Remains of the judgment. It's him. 